Hello and welcome to another Intro to Programming and Database tutorial. As I told you in my last tutorial that we're going to be learning how you go about linking the data in more than one tables uh, so that we can try to reduce the repetition of the information. So what we would like to accomplish here is that we have set of department IDs and we have a department name for each department. What we want to do next is we want to place each one of our employees in a department. So it's quite possible that we have more than one employees in the same department. So instead of having to repeat all the information about the department, we would only like to link the employee with the departments only by the ID. Now there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing to do is that we need to go to the employees table design view and we would like to introduce a field called department ID now there is nothing in the name of the field what's most important is that the data type and the field size of the field that you're introducing for linking purpose must match the original field so if we go back to the department's design view we just for, for a recap department ID was a short text type and was had a field size of two so we're introducing an employee a field called department ID short text size two names are not important the names can be similar can be different to uh, reduce having to introduce a lot of names some developers use the same name now one thing to understand over here is that departments is the primary department ID is the primary key in the departments table so that you can only have one department ID for every department. In the employees table, we will going to have more than one employees in certain cases in the same department. The same department ID may be repeated more than once if there are more than one employee in the same department. So in this case, department ID will not going to be a primary key. Employees has its own primary key called employee ID. So what will going to be the name for the special field which will going to be used to link the two tables? We call such keys foreign keys. Pretty much like when we as citizens of a country go into another country, we are called foreigners in that country because we represent another country. So department ID is one such field which exists in employee table but actually the data that it holds represents the data from departments table. So when we establish the relationship between the two tables and we link them and join them, after that department ID will not going to be able to hold any values other than those found in the departments table. So departments table has for now department IDs with the values of 10, 20, 30, 40. So after the entire linking process is done, no employee could actually be placed in any department other than these four choices. Now we will going to look at the employees table and we're going to save the changes and we're going to view the contents. Now here in the department ID we can enter 60 and it'll be fine. I'm not going to complain because the tables are not linked. However, we're going to prefer that both tables for now have the same data or at least the data in the employees match the data in the departments table. So I have placed two employees in department number 10 and one employee in department number 20 just so that you can see the repetition of the foreign key. But at this point department ID is not a foreign key. It is just a regular field. To establish the foreign key and the primary key relationship, first of all, we're going to close the two tables that we had open earlier on. Now we are going to go into establishing relationships by clicking the database tools tab. And here is our relationships button. When you click on the relationships button, it right away asks you select the tables that you would like to join in a relationship. So we're going to click one table which is departments the other table the employees we're going to close now 
We will going to establish a relationship between the two table by clicking on the primary key in the departments table and we're going to drag it and we're going to drop it on the department ID field in the employees table and this is the message that we are trying to convey to the database engine that I want to establish the relationship between the two tables such that the department ID in the departments table will going to be the primary key and department ID in the employees table will going to be the foreign key. And now when I let go, it basically gives me this dialog box and you can see over here it says, okay, departments table, department ID is the main table. And employees table, department ID is the related table. Now if I really want department ID to only have the in the employees table to only have the values which are right within the department ID fields of departments table I'll going to enforce what we call referential integrity this will going to force that no value within department ID in the employees table can be outside of the bounds of the values in the department uh, department stable department ID field so we're now going to click create and this establishes the relationship between the two tables the relationship at this point is one too many what does that mean that means every department ID can be assigned to one or more employees or zero or more employees so this basically is one to many relationship we're going to save the changes to that we have established here and we're going to click the close button and now it has established the relationship now if i go into the employees table now here are my values in the employees table i go into the next row and enter employee one zero zero five jason matt department 100 it doesn't let me go because the size of the field is two digits long so let's say if I do 11 and press enter right away it gives me an error saying well you cannot add or change a record because the related record is required in a table department what does that mean that means there was no department ID found in the departments table with that ID so I'm gonna click OK here and now I'm going to change it to 20 and as soon as I press enter it takes it because it founds the map it find the match now we're going to double click in the departments table and you can now see this plus that has been added this is all part of the query by example environment what does this represent the plus represent that this is the main table and it has a foreign key in another table so if I click on the plus you're going to give me the related data from the other tables here you can see the related data is pretty much telling me that these two employees are in department number 10 these two employees are in department number 20 there is nobody in department 30 and there is nobody in department 40 and I can pretty much collapse it and this is pretty much the view when you establish the relationship between the two tables and this is basically what we call relational database management system being able to join the tables so that the information does not need to be repeated or all the information is linked exactly the same way your student ID is to be found in the accounts table in the academics records and also in your personal information but the details about you are, are stored in your personal information but via that student ID all your information is linked and your personal information does not have to be repeated wherever you are present in the system you are present by your student ID so that's the only thing that gets to be repeated just like the department ID in this particular case hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial catch you in the next one thank you for watching